What's happening, Anoka? I'm Jacob. And I'm Keisha, scratching my hair. Today is Wednesday, September 25th. Interested in making a difference in the world? Come to Strong Women of Tomorrow's next meeting this Friday morning at 7.10 a.m. in room S113. Repeat, in room S113 at 7.10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, be there or be square. See Ms. LR in the Social Studies wing if you have any questions. Let's talk about SWOT. Guitar Club will have its first meeting today at 2.35 in room I-153. All are welcome from rock stars to beginners. Bus passes are provided. I know, I'm a rock star. Anoka Anime and Gaming will be starting next Monday, September 30th, after school until 4.15 p.m. We are in N119 and N120. Everyone is welcome to join. Bring your own gaming devices or cards. Congratulations goes out to these DECA members who are elected to officer positions. President Veda Carlson Heil. Vice Presidents Caitlin Matechuk and Alexis Moritz. Secretaries Carly Unger and Bailey Eakins. Treasurers Avery Metzger and Kaya Goldsmith. Historians Kaylee Strominger and Taylor Tews. Congrats again to, and look to a great year ahead. Tornado Takeout is our school's food shelf. If your family could use a little extra food, please meet Mrs. Moseman outside L127 on Fridays after school to pick up a backpack for a full of food for the weekend. You can also talk to a teacher, counselor, and make other arrangements. Representatives from Riona State, Northland College, the Air Force, University of Northern Iowa, Mankato, Montana State, Luther, University of Min Minnesota, Rochester, University of Vermont, and St. Ben's and St. John's will all be visiting the Career Center this week. If you are interested in attend attending any of these visits, please sign up in Naviance. It's time once again to check back in on your favorite weatherman. Here's Seth in the Weather, weather Center. Thank you, Jacob. Last night saw some thunder tornado storms in southern part of the state. Not much here except little rain. Now the cooler temps arrive, cloudy skies, and high near 60s today. That should seasonable and dry for the rest of the week, including Friday night for football. That's your weather. I'm Seth, the weatherman, and back to Keisha and Jacob. Thanks, Seth. The BPA Fall Blood Drive is taking place this Friday, September 27th. Appointments are available between 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Please send Mr. Hay a time period that would work best for you and, I will, and he will schedule you in. Otherwise, please feel free to walk in any time on Friday. The PSAT will be offered on Wednesday, October 30th at Anoka High School for juniors that choose to take it at a cost of $18 per student. Fee waivers are available through the counselor's office. The practice ACT is scheduled at the same time, so students who choose to take the PSAT will not be able to take the practice ACT. Have you ever thought of a career in court reporting? closed captioning or real-time communications, this high-wage, high-demand career requires a two-year degree and has a 100% job placement rate. Anoka Technical College is the only college in the state offering this program, and they are hosting an eight-week free industry course on Monday nights from October 7th till November 11th from 6 to 8 p.m. See Ms. Neary in the Career Center for more information. Time to check in on sports and activities, and with that, here's Taylin. The football team is in preparation for the Battle of the Paddle this Friday night against Champlin Park. The theme is USA out. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. The volleyball team lost in four sets last night to St. Francis. They will take on Maple Grove on Thursday. The speech team will be looking for members soon. Be on the lookout for the information about joining for the team, and it'll be in next week. Elsewhere, the Twins took down the Tigers 4-2, bringing us one game closer to the postseason. That's your look at sports and activities. I'm King William. Now back to Jacob and Keisha. Thanks, Taylin. Remember, if you miss anything during the newscast or you are absent for a day, you can find us on Anoka TV News or on YouTube and get on caught up. Before we go, today is National One Hit Wonder Day, the day where we celebrate the songs and artists that were in our lives for just a short while. Hmm. Makes you think of some classic one hit wonders like Come On Eileen or oh, yeah. Chumba Wumbles classics, Tum Thumping, or perhaps my favorite, Mr. Farley's History of Keeping Announcements Short and Simple. Man, I don't even remember that jam. I'm sure that was big. Today's lunch is mini corn dogs. That's the news. I'm Jacob. And I'm Keisha. Have a great day, Anoka.